Have you ever gone into your Xero account, looked at a transaction and realised that you've made a mistake with the VAT? So what happens next? Do you then panic? Well, there's no need to. You're not the only one that's done this. I've done this before. I've done it lots of times. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you correct your VAT mistakes in Xero and how they're dealt with on your next VAT return. Let's head into Xero and take a look. Okay, you're in your Xero account, you're on your profit and loss and you're reviewing some transactions and you get to transaction and you take a look at it. Now, it doesn't really matter what the transaction is, this is just an example. But you look at this transaction and you go, oh no, the VAT is incorrect here. This should not be 20%, this should be zero rated. So it's quite easy to go to the options and to choose edit. We go to the tax rate, go to the drop down, find zero rated and update our transaction. Now I'm going to show you what's happened. We're going to go to the VAT return. And the idea here is to give you peace of mind that zero will deal with the correction that you've made. We're only going to choose today's date. And this is just to look at what happens on the VAT return. And we're going to say create. And look what happens. If we go to box four, there is a negative amount and it says that we need to pay HMRC £3.67. Let's go to the backup to that, transactions by VAT box, and here we can see the adjustment that we have made. So box four, first of all, we have a reversal because we had incorrectly claimed £3.67 in VAT. So we're removing that. And then we have a zero rated line, which is what should have happened in the first place, where the net amount is the total of the spend for £22 and there's no VAT. If we go to transactions by tax rate, we see something similar. We see that the 20% VAT and expense has been reversed and it's been replaced by zero rated expenses. So the effect of that is that we're going to have to pay HMRC £3.67. So that's very clear. Hopefully it makes it very clear to you that when you make a correction in zero, you don't need to worry about it because it will feed into the next VAT return. There will be this option here, late claims included, and that's what it is referring to. We have made an adjustment, which should have been in a previous VAT return, and it's now going to be picked up on the next one. So that is making a correction to your VAT in zero and knowing and being confident that it's going to feed through into your next VAT return and you don't have to worry about it. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. But until next time, happy zeroing.